back to the vlog. We're doing another week in my life in New York. It's Sunday. Got in from Toronto last night. Had the absolute best time. This morning, I just launched my new series, AM Uncovered, that I've been talking about forever. It's a short form series on Instagram and TikTok. I wanna post on YouTube Shorts, but you can only do a minute on YouTube Shorts, so. Figuring that out, but it's just been such a rewarding morning because I was so nervous that I was gonna post about it and no one even cared. Um, but everyone's really excited about it where I'm gonna be uncovering other people's morning routines and learning the best from the best. So it's a chilly day, had a lovely morning. I still need to unpack, but we're gonna go to a New York Pilates class. I'm all bundled up, got this little aloe beanie on, my go-to Sam jacket. Afterwards, I'm gonna try and go to Trader Joe's. I say try because I get really overwhelmed in there when there's a lot of people. The one in Chelsea is literally, the line gets so long, so we'll see. But uh, bring in the big old bag in hopes that I'll be bringing some things back because I have a couple things from Trader Joe's that I wanna try. So welcome back to the vlog and I'm excited to take you with me. now I'm so happy I found this buttermilk protein pancake mix I hope it's good I got some syrup and some other things I also still have some eat clean bro meals so I didn't need to get like full-on things but I got Kate Davis said she loves the uncured bacon from Trader Joe's so we're gonna try that I also just got some turkey to snack on um, some more cream so yeah, and now I think I'm just not gonna shower because Ryan's meeting me from the gym. I'm gonna meet him for lunch in the West Village. Hello. We're being brave soldiers and eating outside, but it's, it feels good in the sun and it's such a vibe. Ryan's like, can I eat? Yes, of course. I love movement. <laughs> it looks very cool. Shut up. I like that. I said, I want to go in this bookstore. It always looks so cool. And he goes, should we have a main character moment and go in the bookstore? Should we? Let's do it. I always wanted to go inside. Is it like owned by Mark Jacobs? So today has took a bit of a turn in the best, most happy way. Um, Ryan and I had a really nice afternoon in the West Village. We got brunch at Tartine, walked around a little, and uh, we found Ryan was like, I really want a gray sweater. I was like, that's so cute of you, let's find you one. We went to Buck Mason and some other stores and we ended up finding him a really great one at a thrift store. So it was perfect and he's gonna wear it tonight. He's so excited. Where are we going? So today's Sunday, but a lot of my friends have off tomorrow, which I'm so pumped about. Um, so I kind of rescheduled my life around it. So wrong brush. I was like, I wanna play tomorrow. So well, I don't really know if I'm playing tomorrow, but more so I had a feeling there might be some activities tonight, but wasn't really sure what the vibe was. Anyways, Ryan and I get a text this morning from our friends Grayson and Emma and they just got engaged like I think yesterday I can't wait to hear the whole story in New York um, We went to school with them and I've known them since freshman year um, Cause I actually had a class with the two of them. They've been dating for like literally ever and like seven or eight years I think and They just moved in together and they just got engaged And I'm so excited. So they were like I'm like doing my makeup all crazy. So they're like last minute, but we want to like see everyone, whatever, come to the standard beer garden tonight at 530 to celebrate. And Ryan and I were like, we have to go. And 
he doesn't have work tomorrow, so I'm pumped. They invited Delaney too, so it'll be a really good vibe. But um, so Ryan and I are gonna go to Soho House actually first because it's over there. It's in meatpacking, and we're gonna have like I don't know. I really want this salad from Soho House. It's so good. Um, and then we'll walk over to Standard Beer Garden. So I'm excited, and I think we might have a night. I don't know. I might get a little drunk. Who knows what happens? But I'm just so happy for them, and I always get excited when you know people feel like they want to text us when they got engaged. You know. It's just exciting that they want to share their moment with us. So um, Ryan and I were like, we will be there. We had no plans. We just were kind of seeing where the day was taking us. So I am beyond thrilled. I just, it just took me about 30 minutes to figure out my outfit because it's cold out, but like I want to be cute, but I also don't want to freeze. Um, so I'll show you guys what I landed on. It's nothing um, extraordinary by any means, but I actually feel pretty cute in it. So um i'm just doing my makeup so so fast ryan was like here and he ran home to get ready and i'm gonna meet him at Soho house but yeah we had a really nice day it's like cold but it was sunny so we were really enjoying that and guys the response from am uncovered is unreal like i am just so excited and it just it just feels so good because i've been planning this since like november and you know i was like people could hate it like i don't really know and everyone's really into it and now i'm getting even more guest ideas of people i want to have on feel free to comment below anyone you guys think i should have on like and i i got some comments please have some corporate girlies on or people who work nine to five like that was the point of this um obviously i have a lot of influencer friends that i want to feature but i also have a whole list of people in my life or people that i follow that work in different fields and i'm really interested to have them on like there's some peloton instructors i'd love or just any sort of fitness instructor people in the medical field nurses pas i just i find it so fascinating to see how people start their day and i think it'll be really f a fun way um it was so funny i put on my story like, who else do you guys want to see on my show? On my show, on my series. And some of you guys really believe in me. So I got a lot of like, Kim Kardashian, Hailey Bieber. I'm like, I mean, I love the manifestation and I do hope that I can eventually make this something where I can have really big guests on. And I think that, I mean, that's my dream is that this becomes something that people want to come on. And if they're promoting something, they want to come on my show or they just want to have a, a place to share their morning routine like i want to be that person for them so yeah go follow me on instagram at danielle carolyn and tiktok that's where these videos will live i really into eyeliner recently which is so off brand for me this is just like a brown liquid liner from lancome i think yeah anywho i'm just gonna finish getting ready really quick and then i'll show you guys my outfit and we'll head out the door Okay, I have just become obsessed with taking a couple basics, putting them together in different ways, and then it's a whole new outfit. So I've been loving just wearing simple long sleeves with some sort of bottom and then seeing what I could do. So I am wearing just a black long sleeve and then over top, I threw this black bomber on that matches perfectly with this skirt I got from a Goldie. It's just like a little mini faux leather skirt. And since it's cold out, it's like I need tights. I just got these tights in Toronto at a boutique they're fleece lined tights so it looks like my skin but really it's like this fleece situation so it looks like you're wearing black sheer tights but yeah delaney influenced me and caitlin to buy them while we were there and then i just have some tall black boots on i pulled my hair up because it was like randomly greasy some silver hoops this random ring makeup and a little black shoulder bag and we're good to go hopefully i'll be warm enough I think that we're going to standard beer garden and i think it's like kind of inside outside i can't remember i haven't been in so long so i'm excited though i'm hungry so we're gonna eat at soho house and then go okay as you guys know no phones no cameras allowed in soho house so i'll see you after here i go okay we literally sat down ordered our food so fast i'm like whoa i just ate so much so fast because we don't want to be too late to the thing but i needed to eat and the only thing they have at the beer garden are like pretzels. So I got a nice salad and fries, chugged a Moscow mule, and now we're headed to Standard Beer Garden. I love meatpacking so much. Like if I could live here, I would. I mean, there are apartments, but they all look like lost. Do you not know where to go? <laughs> I think it's like one more street up at least. It's like by the Standard, it's by a Standard Grill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I 
I'm so excited. Yum. Good morning, guys. It's Monday. Ryan's in the shower right now. It's not even the morning anymore, actually. It's 12.04. And we just finally got to season two of the morning show and it's so good. So we just watched just one episode actually of the second season. But we just had a nice lazy morning, which we don't do very often at all. We're both like kind of antsy and we just kind of need to get up. But this morning's been nice. He slept in a little and I made us protein pancakes. They were really good. They really just taste like pancakes. So thrilled about that. Bacon. And like I said, we just watched some TV. And yeah, kind of gonna treat today like a Sunday kind of, because I feel like yesterday I didn't end up getting my life together as I normally do on Sundays. Cause, um, oh my God, we had so much fun last night. We ended up staying out on a Sunday. This is late for me till like midnight. Um, there was like one bar in the West Village called Art Bar that was open and we got pizza. So we went to Standard Beer Garden and they had liquor there, which I was pumped about. And then we walked over to get pizza. And then we went to Art Bar. We wanted to go to Common Ground, but it actually closed at 10. So we were just like having a night. It was really fun. It was just so fun celebrating them and they were just so happy. It was so cute. So yeah, today I am just gonna get some things on my to-do list done. I'd like to get a workout and maybe go to the steam room and Equinox, that kind of vibe. Hi, just wanted to intro the day. I realized while I was out last night that the People's Choice Awards were gonna be on, so I recorded them on my phone on YouTube TV. I just love an award show, you guys know that. I was like, and I none of the winners have been spoiled for me online, so I'm just gonna put it on and have it on the TV while I'm cleaning. I still have to unpack. Um, where do I go? Oh yeah, library. 1987. That's right. I also recorded the red carpet, but I feel like I saw all the looks, so we'll just do the actual award show. <laughs> Yay! It's four o'clock and I just made another cup of coffee and I'm setting up shop here, about to do some work. I showered, I cleaned, I unpacked. I just didn't film it. And then I started doing some laundry too. Um, and I also filmed a little try on haul of some pieces I got from Revolve. So go follow me on TikTok at Danielle underscore Carolyn because I just love the pieces I got. So I was like, let me do a little try on. I'm just wearing this little onesie. I'm so pale. I'm like so used to having some sort of spray tan on. But yeah, the vibes are lovely in here. I have not left my apartment and I'm not mad about it. So I'm gonna get some work done here. And then the goal is to go to the gym and walk on the treadmill. was fabulous steam room was even more fabulous and then I wasn't sure if I was gonna wash my hair tonight or not I was because I don't love sleeping on wet hair and then I remembered my sweet friend Bridget acquired style sent me her heatless curlers and I've been wanting to try them um, and these look so I mean first of all they come in this cute little pouch sold on luxiehair.com the scrunchies have little bows which makes it so cute claw clip to put it in place but I love it because this is like a soft situation so it doesn't, it's not like a hard like rod or anything. I have to remember how to do this. I think I just clip on here and then I feel as though I just wrap around, bring it around town. I just got off the phone with my mom and my brother, two separate calls. And that's a productive night for me. Like I love getting my phone calls in with my fam. Cause no one in my family, actually my dad, my dad's a big texter, but my mom and my brother are just not texters at all. So, you know, we just lose touch sometimes. So it's nice to hop on the phone and get all the tea. But my mom's actually going on a trip tomorrow. She's going to Egypt. How crazy, she's so excited. Um. 
Okay, I feel like I could have secured that a little better, but it literally feels like a Sunday night, but it's a Monday night. I just realized I don't think I'm wearing this sweatshirt to bed. So I'll probably have to redo this before I go to bed, but for now, put it in. I think I'm having trouble fastening this. Or like, do you just keep it like that? Bridget, come over, come help me. Like, do I pull this all the way through? I don't know. I don't know. This is so funny, like, I look so, oh, but it's so cute with the bows. Okay, we're in. And this is literally the prettiest one I've ever used because of the little bows and the silk. I feel like I could fasten this just a little better. Yay! I'm gonna crack a sparkly open, AKA a LaCroix. I'm really in the mood to watch Justin Bieber Never Say Never movie, the one that I'm in, which is the director's cut. Um, and I'm just about to, my lawn, my dryer was done earlier, but I'm just doing a little touch up so it's nice and fresh and I'm gonna fold and watch TV or watch the movie. This is still going on. I'm not uncomfortable at all, it feels good in my hair, so. Gosh, I just love this movie so much. Uh, I like was such a Justin Bieber girl back in the day. And I still am, but you, you know the vibes. Like this song, stuck in the moment with you. I wonder how his grandparents are doing. These are the things I think about. <laughs> Okay, this is the part that I'm in the movie, so it's That Should Be Me, and he had a ton of people submit on YouTube, and I did, and I'm at the very end, though. I think I'm coming up, you guys. Wait for it. Ah, that was me, and then it's him right after, right after me, it's his face. Oh my god, I can't. Every time. Every time. Wow, that just put me in the best mood. I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. This is how I've naturally woken up with things in my hair. So we're gonna see how this goes, but I feel like I need a little lip balm. My grandma growing up, I feel like I remember her, like she wouldn't leave the house without having lipstick on. She's like, I need my lipstick. So I felt just now, I was like, I need my lip balm. Wow, that stuff smells so good. Okay, I'm kind of seeing some of the curls though, and I'm, I'm definitely impressed. I'm nervous. Cause my hair's also like not as long as like, other like Bridget's and stuff. What do I do? Just ah! Oh my god. Okay. Just need to work out some of the kinks on the top. <gasps> Wait. My hair is curly. Okay. What do you do about the top part though? Like I'm tempted to brush. I think my hair needs to be a little bit longer, but also no. Like also no. Wow. I'm impressed. That is stunning. I'm tempted to do a little side part action. Oh my god. I don't curl my hair a lot with short hair. I like to with my extensions, so I'm also just not used to this. <laughs> and that was so comfortable. I slept all night, no problem. Beauty sleep essentials. Wow. This is like the cutest little case. Go Bridget, go Lexi hair. Um, I think the only thing I need to figure out is like why the top is kind of weird, but I'm really happy. I didn't have to do my hair. Exciting day today because while well, I launched, I announced AM Uncovered the other day. But today, this morning, after I have a few sips of coffee, we're gonna post the first episode with Castamico. I'm so excited. I'm nervous. Ah! I love how the episode turned out and I love Cass and it's really cool getting an insight into her morning routine, but it's still scary. So I'm about to post that and we're just gonna see. You guys, it's been like 20 minutes of the video being up, maybe 15, and the response is fabulous. <laughs> so many comments, which I need to like not let all my energy go to, but it is exciting when something you've been working on for so long gets the feedback that you wanted because I'm obsessed with the series. I love how elevated it is. I love learning about other people's routines. It's really amazing and that you guys are loving Cass's. So go follow me on Instagram, as I know Carolyn, and on TikTok. It's just like a fun new thing to do while still doing YouTube, still doing podcasts, like literally still doing everything else. I just wanted to add one more little thing. Okay, I will shut up about I am uncovered now. I'm gonna sip my coffee. And I like basically finished my to-do list yesterday. So I'm gonna start. I do my new day. 
Today's quote is, knowing what doesn't work is progress. Nice. These are like my only blue light glasses I can find at the moment and they are just humbling looking. But I tell you, these things work. If, especially in the morning, if I just like get on screens right away, I have to have blue light glasses on. Otherwise, my head hurts for the rest of the day. Wow, this is so humbling. But I'm recording because I have on my to-do list and I've been putting it off. I need to schedule a dermatology appointment where I do a body check. I've actually never done a full body check and some of my friends have gone recently and I just like, there's like things on my body that I'm like, ah, I'm scared, but I'm pretty sure it's nothing. It's just, it's good. I grew up in Florida. Like I wasn't in the sun all the time, but it's just good to go. It's just like the thought of just being naked in a room and someone's just looking your body up and down ain't fun. However, I feel like it'll be an easy 10 minute appointment and maybe I'll learn something. So I am trying to book an appointment right now. I don't want to, but I need to. We're having a little eggs and bacon this morning because I thoroughly enjoyed my bacon yesterday. And sometimes I think bacon's just for the weekends, but that is not necessarily true. put on a little work outfit. This one's from Athleta. We're gonna go to Equinox. I'm actually gonna go to the one on Bond Street because after that I have an appointment at Face Gym. I try to go like once a month. I literally love it so much. It's truly a workout for your face where they just deep huff and all the things. And they just recently added something called the Buckle Booster which I believe they like put on gloves and they like go in your face and like in your mouth, I mean, and really go to town. So um, I will add some videos when they do that. It should be interesting. But yeah, this has just been my go-to gym uniform, this little Lululemon jacket over top, sneaks. So yeah, we're gonna do a little Equinox Bond Street and then Face Gym is literally right next to it in NoHo, like on Bond Street as well, or like right off of it. And then we're gonna come back and have some meetings. got a smoothie on my way back because it was right near face gym. Face gym was amazing. I had never done the buckle mas massage before. He literally had his hands in my mouth, like rubbing. It was so epic. I get some work done after that call. I now have a to-do list of a few more things I want to do. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to try and time batch. So I'm going to do this for 30 minutes and then I'm going to eat some sort of lunch and then get ready because we're going to YouTube because I work with someone at YouTube. She's like my I think you would call it like my community manager. And I've worked with her for a few years. We just do like strategy calls for YouTube and optimization and she teaches me about the new YouTube features. Um, and she lives in California, but she's in town in New York. So she invited me to the YouTube office, which I'm so excited. I've been once before and it was sick. And I love YouTube so much. So uh, I'm gonna head over there in a little bit. Um, I put on my hat because unfortunately, which I had a feeling, the headband at Face Gym kept sliding off, so it made my scalp a little oily, but it's okay. It's totally fine, so I'm gonna figure out my hair. I might, I might just slick it back or do like a half up, half down because like, it looks good. I mean, I could wear a hat to the office, like a hat and blazer vibe. We'll find out. I just showered. I got some pre-cooked meatballs from Eat Clean Bro recently, and it's perfect when you're not like starving, but just craving some protein. I heated up mm, three meatballs and I added some Rayo's tomato sauce. <laughs> so good. So that's gonna be my little lunchy, and then we're gonna get ready. Hi, okay, I'm gonna run to Duncan because I want a coffee. Slicked back the hair because it was just long gone, which I'm so sad about because I really liked those curls. 
Um, I'm just wearing this super down cute jacket, a black like just bodysuit underneath long sleeve. My new favorite jeans from Citizens of Humanity. They're like horseshoe shoes, so they like, or horseshoe jeans, so they go out, which I really like. And then just some black booties and this little YSL shoulder bag, silver hoops. And we're gonna go meet at YouTube. I'm excited. I can't believe I'm just like going to the YouTube office right now. I don't, I don't know why, but I'm really excited. <laughs> Got my decaf junk and iced coffee. We're in Chelsea Market. I'm waiting for her to come down and get me, but the offices are like in Chelsea Market, which is cool. They sent the save the date like a week ago when I got it. And she texted me, she was like, did you get a letter in the mail for me? And I was like, well, I got the save the date. And she's like, I sent like another one. So I just went down. Like the longest, sweetest letter. I have to FaceTime her right now. Oh my God. I feel like the worst. I don't know when this letter came. Oh my God. I can't believe I didn't see this. Bitch, I'm so excited. Yes, I will. I just got a FaceTime with Emmy. I'm so excited. Like I've never okay. I've been a bridesmaid once before I was my aunt's maid of honor, but she didn't have like any other bridesmaids um, And it was like a small wedding So like I have been a bridesmaid before but not like there was no bachelorette trip There was no like like Emmy's like I'll tell you when the bridal shower is and the, all this and I'm like, oh my god It's just so exciting and like she has been texting us in a group chat of like, you know Dress deciding and stuff and she was just telling me like colors She wants to do for the bridesmaids and I'm like, I don't want to tell you a color and then you want the other one You know what I mean? So I was just like whichever one you want um, Because they're she's so her job is like interior design. She's just so talented. So I'm like, whatever you do is gonna be beautiful And I'm so honored. I am headed to dinner. Um, I basically am wearing the same outfit as earlier I just changed into a, a turtleneck to be a little warmer and added my wool coat um, I'm headed to dinner with Katie and Brooke because it, we are so overdue for a gal's ketchup and we're going to this restaurant called Osteria 57. It's like an Italian spot in like Greenwich Village, West Village. So I'm gonna walk there now and I'm just ready for all the tea. Like I literally have a list of talking points in my phone of things I wanna talk to them about. So let's go. Oh, thank you. Say hello to my friends. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Yum. How do you guys feel? You guys, Brooke, how do you feel that you have the same meal as Katie? It's safe. It's safe. It's, it's okay. It's really popular. Yeah, I didn't it's popular. think. I didn't think that like Brooke doesn't like coffee. I people it's coffee. No, no. It's a popular dish. I'm so excited. This looks amazing. Morning guys, we are headed to a super powered sculpt class um, with the Sweats in the City girls. I love their account. They, I feel like they started their account by like posting different workouts in the city and they still do that and they also like host classes and there's two cute gals um, and they're hosting a workout class with Dove and I was like, it was like perfect time is 8.30 because that's the only time of workout I could do today. I was like, I'll go. I'm wearing this brown little set from Ida. And then like a white tank over top. I like attempted to do the braid ponytail thing, but I can't tell if I look silly. But we're almost running late, so I gotta go.
back from the workout making another cup of coffee. I stopped by the dry bar on my way back and they crushed it. They always do, but like they always do it a little differently every time. That's the thing. So I always just show a photo of my hair and I say, can you do this? Cause they have, they have a menu of course. And I, I would consider what I get the straight up. Um, which is like straight hair, but like a bouncy blowout, but sometimes they do different things and they pull out curling irons I'm like, no, no, no. So I just said um, Like a typical bouncy blowout. I showed her a photo of my hair before and she did this But there's like lots of volume in the front and I really like it. So today is a really fun day Lots of on-camera stuff. Hence why I got the, the blowout I'm actually going to the pure wow office and the page six office to do some interviews and stuff like that for am uncovered which i'm really excited about and then after that i think i'm just gonna go to a coffee shop nearby and then go meet brooke at the podcast studio and we're gonna record a podcast um so i pulled out my clothing rack again i kind of think i'm gonna start doing this and put some of my newer pieces here so i remember like some pieces that i want to wear but today i think i'm going to wear this set from lioness that i just got i love it it's this brown colored jacket and a matching skirt and then i put brown tights but i might actually switch it up and do like like a black because it's cold like a black turtleneck underneath with black tights and black boots and do like a brown and black situation instead of like all brown because i almost think brown tights with this will be two like two different tones of brown which i do like to do i don't know but yeah so it's just a skirt elsa haas was wearing it and i was like that's lioness i want that um lioness is like a great price point i feel like for like nice trendy fun stuff and it's like a little mini skirt, so we're obviously gonna wear tights, but it's a really cute look. So I need to figure out what shirt I'm wearing underneath because that'll depend on if I need to wear the shirt while I'm doing my makeup, you know? Okay, I have this black turtleneck, but it has like the bib detailing. I think that's what it's called. So I have to decide now. I think I should do black and then I have black tights that are thermal lined. I bought them in Toronto and they were amazing, but they look sheer, you guys. Delaney influenced me to buy them. They literally, when they stretch out, like when you put them on, it looks like it's just your skin under the tights. And I think that might be the move for today. Wait guys, this is so cute. Like, see what I mean? It looks like I have tights on. I think I like it with the black turtleneck or is this too much? Do I need to just do like a black non-turtleneck top? Because in reality, this is what you're gonna see in the video that I'm doing with like page six and stuff. Like one of them I think is a TikTok. So, but if you will see the whole outfit, then it's a whole moment. Ah. I've decided it's still a moment. I'll wear a nice earring. We're gonna do our makeup. This is good. And then I can wear like a tanner foundation. The outfit came together, you guys. I'm so happy. I took a little extra time on my makeup and it just makes the biggest of difference. Love the fit. And then I can't wait to wear it in the spring when I don't need tights and we can just do like a different kind of style. And then I'm bringing my big old tote bag. I'm glad I went with the black because then I can wear my black bag. I have black sunglasses. I did gold earrings. These ones are from Anthropology. Anthropology's earrings right now, you guys. There's so many. Um, I probably should also wear a coat and I'm trying to decide if I want to freeze or not. What's the temperature? I could probably just risk it with just this. Let's go, fun jam pack day. fun went to two offices back to back and now I'm like near the podcast studio so I've got my computer we're gonna post up at a coffee shop of sorts get some work done and then okay, I literally have like two hours here <laughs> maybe I'll hop around coffee shops who knows and uh oh yeah this is where I'm gonna go 
Just got to the podcast studio. I just bought a little seltzer water. I just got so much work done. Felt amazing. I'm buzzed from my decaf coffee. Now we're gonna record an episode of Girls in the Go. And my makeup has stayed so well. I put like a lot of powder on and I think it helped. Oh, hello there. So cute, love the pink. Ryan's here and he's helping me. Katie Austin, my dear friend, came out with her own treadmill slash walking pad. It literally says her name on the side of it. And she sent me one, like that's so nice of her. I've been wanting to buy one forever. And she sent me hers and I'm so excited to try it. And Ryan's helping me like, it's just a big box, you know? I'm just a little girl. <laughs> all right, we have it all set up. <gasps> We're going! Guys, I'm about to be unstoppable doing emails while walking. Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog. <laughs> it's nine o'clock. Ryan is such an angel, just came over to help me because I had plans tonight. I have dinner at 9.30, guys. I... I'm struggling. I'm like in my nightgown. So I just put it on while I cleaned. And I'm tired. But me, my best friend from high school, we were trying to plan a Galentine's dinner. And then the day we planned it, we didn't realize it was for Super Bowl Sunday. We like didn't realize it was the Super Bowl that day. And I was like, I'm so sorry. Like, can we reschedule? So we're going tonight because we got a reservation at iSodi. And it's really hard to get a reservation there, but it was at 9.30. So we're going, but I'm tired. And it's just like a weird time to eat, but I'm excited to like catch up with them. I just hope I can, my social battery will come up a little bit. I'm excited about my walking pad. Ryan, we also figured out that I think I could put the bar down and walk on it. I can't wait to play with that more. I just had him come over to like help with the box and like you didn't have to put it together. It's just like a lot to handle as one little, little girl. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna change back into, well, not the same outfit, but I'm just gonna put like the turtleneck on with jeans and head out the door. Oh, really? Wow. We're eating good tonight, ladies. I'm back and I am just so happy. I just love those girls so much. We were reminiscing, like if you have friends from high school still and you're 25 like me, we've known each other since we were 15, some 14 even. 10 years, I've known those girls 10 years. I still like feel like high school was yesterday. Like I feel like I still am like, oh, where'd they go to high school? Like I just, it's so crazy. And I'm so beyond blessed to have those girls in my life, truly. I like love my hair and makeup today. I'm sad to take it off. I mean, my makeup's been on for so many hours at this point, like it needs to come off. But um, today was a really good day and I feel like I'm gonna sleep so well because I've talked so much today because we did like, interviews and then podcasting and then like dinner with friends and Ryan came over too. So I feel like a lot of talking, all good things. So I'm gonna go to bed tomorrow morning. We're going back to the aloe gym. We're gonna do a Pilates class. And uh, I got therapy tomorrow. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the morning. You'll hear about it tomorrow. Fabulous. Then went to get some groceries, picked up my birth control, and now 
I'm about to do therapy. So I know I've already said this, but I'm just counting down the days because my therapist is retiring in May and I'm so sad. So we're just taking as much advantage of it as possible and just enjoying my time talking to her. Um, so yeah, BRB, going to therapy. Had a good therapy sesh. I'm just making my smoothie, of course. My at-home juice generation, all milk, banana, chocolate protein powder, almond butter, and then I've also been putting scoops of Armra colostrum in there to just keep my gut, my immune system, just honestly everything good. Um, oh, and then some ice. So I'm gonna make this, and then I have another call in 10 minutes about something I'm working on with a brand that I'm really excited about, and I can't wait for you guys to find out. You're gonna be like, this makes sense. Um, so yeah, that's what's happening. I'm excited because I got a PR package from Pharmacy Beauty, um, and they sent it with this little cup, and I'm obsessed with her. Like, the straw is like, like, chewy. I don't think it all fit in here, but that's, oh! A little spillage on the side there, that's all right. Gosh darn it, I can't not make a mess. Wait, I'm so excited. I feel like this is just gonna be delectable in this little cup. It's the little things. Like, look how cute. Mmm! dark out it's getting cozy or like you saw earlier i did like another 15 minutes on the walking pad i'm obsessed i also wanted to highlight that earlier when i went to the grocery store i bought some oranges and i'm thinking about trying the orange peel theory on ryan tonight if he comes over he might not be able to come over because of work but if he does i need to like remember I wonder, <laughs> if you guys don't know what the orange peel theory is, it's basically testing your man. <laughs> Poor guy, it's just always being tested here. Um, I'm gonna say like, oh, I really want an orange, but I don't feel like peeling it. And if he comes over here and grabs it and peels it for me, then he's like a keeper. So we'll see, Ryan's doom could be tonight. <laughs> I'm kidding. But I also finally showered um, and like scrubbed my body because we're about to get a spray tan. Thank God, like honestly, not having a spray tan for a week is tough. Like I'm so used to being tan. Um, and it just, I know I'm gonna feel 10 times more confident because we have the Philly live show tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm so excited. We're not staying in Philly, we're just going for the night and we're gonna drive back after the show. So I'm just starting to pack like my dress, my I'm bringing a steamer, just like things. It'll be nice though, I don't have to pack an actual suitcase. Um, oh, I also just got these blue light glasses from Amazon. I'll have them linked below. I really like this shape. I think Delaney had something similar, but like with a wire frame. And I was like, those are so chic. So I bought them in black because blue light glasses really do something for you, you know? Dinner time, we are making some stir fry with ground turkey. I'm gonna put some rice with all this too. Dinner is served. We got ground turkey stir fry, added some soy sauce, onion powder, garlic powder, and just some mixed veggies. And then we got the rice on deck. Mwah. Be great leftovers too. Ryan's here, he's working, we just had dinner. I wanna show you guys, I just cleaned this up. I don't even know if you guys can appreciate this, but it was, stuff was to here. And like, it's like what you see when you first walk in. Oh, this is not shut. Um, but I just organized it a little bit more. I also put all my Symbiotica in this like little vase cylinder thing I have. I actually just took one of these Symbiotica magnesiums because Brooke and Mariah told me to try it. The vanilla cream is a good taste. Oh, there goes my trash. Um, and then obviously I always love the vitamin C ones, but I was like, let me just make them a little nicer, present it, present it, and that's that. So that's my little afternoon, evening project. Good morning, guys. It's Friday morning. Ryan just left. We watched a couple episodes of The Morning Show. We're on season two now, and season two is so good. Uh, I still have to wash off my spray tan, but I'm just enjoying a little leisurely morning. It's live show day. I'm so excited. Um, I'm giving Summer House a go because the new season just came out last night, and everyone's obsessed with the show, so I just am giving it a go. I'm seven minutes in. But um, that is going to be the end of this week vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys so much. 
I always have everything linked down below, tagged, everything. Um, and I'll have all my socials so you guys can scan here. Um, I thought that'd be easiest. So you can go follow me on all those places if you want more. Danny, and I love you guys so much.